Well, welcome to Grand Rapids, Governor. We really appreciate you being here, and uh, thank you for taking time to present to our members. Well, I'm happy to be here. It's, I always enjoy coming to Grand Rapids. Um, my roots aren't far from here. Well, good. Thank you. I really look forward to working with you on behalf of Grand Rapids and West Michigan business. Um, it's my first day in my new position and your 101st day in, in office, during which time you have uh, signed a number of bills, taken on the tax system, and, and um, presented a tough but uh, honest budget. As you look back at your first 100 days, um, what has been your greatest success and, and biggest challenge? Well, the, the challenge is, is we need to reinvent our state. And we need to do that in a very fundamental way. But it's a challenge. Um, that's why I ran for office, is to take on that challenge. And I believe we're making good progress. And it's not about me. It's about we working together as Michiganders. And one of the real positives that has already happened is, is build a very good relationship with the legislature. Um, we've worked as a team. And we have accomplished quite a bit. I think I've signed 16 different public acts into law in just these first 100 days. If you look back at the prior administration, I think there, there might have been one act that was signed into law. But it's not just the, the quantity, it's also the quality of the bills we've got, gotten enacted. Good things like item pricing, um, getting rid of ergonomic regulations or preventing those from happening, the emergency financial manager legislation, a lot of good things. And we're pursuing budget and tax. And I believe we're on a path to hit that deadline of May 31st. Awesome. Well, you've talked a lot about um, economic gardening, something mm -hmm. that local chambers of commerce have been engaged in for a number of years. I think our members would really like to hear about your thoughts on transitioning the state's uh, economic de development strategy more toward that model. Sure, it's critical, because if you think about it, where are most jobs created? They're created by small and medium-sized businesses. Um, large businesses clearly help, but they're in the local communities. And one of the problems we had in the past is, at the state level, is they tend to get too caught up in this um, going hunting, going out for out-of-state companies, trying to attract them to Michigan, and then giving them these huge incentive packages, sort of buying them into a state through our broken tax system to get them to come here. That's not the right way to do things. And I put on my business hat when I started looking at this. If you think about Michigan as if it was a business itself, um, what's the most important thing you do if you have a challenged business? is to keep your current customers happy. And our current customers are the people already here that have been striving to build businesses for a long time. And then ultimately you say, how do you support them? Because if you have happy customers, that's the best marketing you can ever have. Better than any ad, any incentive package. It's the word of mouth by having success. So a lot of it is how do we focus in on um, having the best tax environment, the best regulatory environment, um, fair economic development where we don't pick winners and losers, but we try to help people across the board connect with talent. And that's what we're all about. So it, that gardening is the right way to go. Okay. And I th hopefully we've got a lot of good seeds planted. We're going to get there. Absolutely. One of your messages has been that uh, we're all in this together. What can West Michigan, um, our businesses and viewers, do to assist with Michigan's reinvention? Well, you already are helping in terms of some of the things that the Chamber has already gotten involved with. And one specific one is, is one of the things I appreciate your support is on the new international trade crossing. Um, the Chamber came out and was supportive of that. And that helps send the message that it's not just about building a bridge in Detroit. It's about international trade for Michigan. That we're all in this regardless of where we are in the state. And it will help um, people all around this area. Actually, it was surprising. Most people don't recognize that. When people looked at exports, um, there are more export-related things coming out of the Grand Rapids area than the Detroit area. So it's a case of, by all of us working together to say, let's get this new crossing built, um, that's going to foster great international trade for all of us. So you're already speaking up. Um, and the more we can work together on projects like that, the better. Well, we really look forward to being a strong partner with you as you reinvent Michigan. Um, we appreciate you being here today and really thank you for taking time to uh, present to our members. I'm looking forward to it. It's great. Thank you. Thank you.